You never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Nailed it. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Oh my god, superhuman power! What a slam! As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. Ouch. That's right up there, Michael. But let's not forget, that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh. Is that it? Is it over? This night could be over for Jake Roberts. Ring of the eye. Oh, oh, come on. Here's his moment, Michael. Boom, what impact. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Beautiful technique. But it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Break of the eye. Oh, and a low blow. We don't need that. That's what he was looking for, Michael. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. You gotta believe this one's over. He's got him covered. Quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Jake Roberts is a showman, but this might be a little over the top. Oh, nasty impact. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Look at these two giving it their all. They're Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt.
Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Oh boy, he is rolling. There he goes, crashing to the floor. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the outside, guys. We might just be looking at the winner of this ladder match. Snake is down and out. Keep your eye on this one. Look out! Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. This might be it! Oh, my! I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Unless we start... Look at this! When this guy's on, look out. He's got to be running on empty at this point. Wow, Jake is too tough, too proud, too dang legendary to go out like that. What a heart. Boom! <laughs> the snake is down, and he's got the shoulders down. Two, three. The pinfall. 